Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's something that's interesting and different. Apparently, there is a Mass Effect board game that's getting a lot of backlash right now. And as you guys are aware, I'm a massive Mass Effect fan, at least the original ones anyway, until they ruined it with number three. But still, I'm a massive Mass Effect fan. I have been with the original Bioware, the actual real Bioware, not the modern audience Bioware that we currently have making Veilguard right now. But still, I was a huge Mass Effect fan. I think a board game sounds pretty damn awesome. But unfortunately, it looks like it's being mired in controversy because apparently the board game is pushing gender ideology. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Now, again, I don't really know why a board game about Mass Effect will be pushing gender ideology. I don't know to what extremes it's going, but we're going to find out in this article right now. So let's get into the video, guys. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Now, again, Mass Effect board game sounds pretty fucking cool. I just want to throw that out there really quick. I think that sounds like a cool idea. But if it's mired in identity politics and you have your person who is a designer on this particular board game deciding to attack people publicly, then I mean, you know, it is what it is at this point. This is a, a known trope that happens in the gaming industry, and it looks like the board game industry is not too absolved from that either. So it says Eric Lang, the creator of Mass Effect, the board game, Priority Hagalas, which is published by Modifius Entertainment, attacked Mass Effect fans as effing man babies after he claimed that they are starting to leave negative reviews for the game due to it pushing gender ideology propaganda. After a number of individuals began leaving one-star reviews for the game on Board Game Geek, Lang took to X and called for his followers to leave positive positive reviews to offset the negative ones it was re well receiving. Now, what's interesting to me is that these are the people that try to say review bombing is a thing, right? Okay. So these, these one-star reviews, two-star reviews, whatever, they can't be real, right? It's impossible. You totally didn't make a bad game, right? It's just, it's impossible. They got to be review bombing. Okay. So then your idea is to then review bomb it, but in the other direction, right? And this is something that they have been known to do. And it's something that they try to say they don't do. But now you have them openly admitting that that is what they actually do do. Because positive review bombing is a thing. And we've said this so many times. There's been so many iterations on TV shows, movies, and games where positive review bombing has absolutely been a thing where the numbers on Rotten Tomatoes are purposely filtered so that they stay at a magic 95 96 percent for certain films that might feature you know people of color that you know don't don't they don't want it to fail they don't want it to look like it's a failure even though from a domestic standpoint and an overseas standpoint when it comes to financial numbers it is a failure but they don't want it to be like it's a commercial failure right they don't want people to think that the movie TV show whatever was a failure so they make the review score high even though the numbers are extremely low in terms of who watched it then he wrote on X and now deleted posts of course, of course, it's fucking deleted. Uh, that was shared by Mark Current, a.k.a. Grums. I hate even talking about this on social media, but if you played Mass Effect, the board game, would you mind giving it a rating on BGG to offset the effing man babies trying to tank the rating with ones because they can't handle looking at pronouns on a character sheet? Ah, got it. Okay, so we got pronouns. We got pronouns on character sheets. Okay, because clearly... Clearly, these characters had pronouns on the character sheets when we were playing it in Mass Effect, the original games, of course. As noted by Lang and shared to X by Grums, the game lists pronouns for various Mass Effect uh, characters. Yes, Shepard goes by he, him. Yes, uh, Shepard has always gone by he, him. He always had that title. It was a title you were able to have, of course, 100%. No. Obviously not. That's stupid, right? He never had pronouns as a title. People are going to say, well, you use pronouns in the game. Yes, because pronouns are a description. It's something you describe people with. It's not a title that you utilize. You cannot say, I am a he, him. That's not a title that you can carry, right? You can say you're a male. You can say you're a female. But you say, oh, I'm a he slash him. That's not a title. That's never been a title. Never will be a title. Pronouns are meant to describe something that you are looking at or something that you are talking about. And that's exactly what it is. To use it as a title under someone's name like this has always been ridiculous. And I've always thought it was stupid at the end of the day. They did it with Liara too. Liara has she, they apparently because, you know, you got to make sure there's a they in there because she's a freaking alien. Uh, while Lang has since deleted the post, he did write another one claiming he stands by his attack on gamers. He wrote, deleted the stupid post because, well, you know, I hate deleted posts that I stand behind, but F it, Twitter sucks so effing much. Yeah, these people don't like the new Twitter. Uh, they don't like the open dialogue Twitter. They don't like the Twitter that you actually have to see opposing points of view. They don't like that, right? Twitter used to be a super safe haven for uh, hardcore lefties like this, which is obvious what he is at this point. 
But that's what they liked, and uh, that's why they go to Blue Sky now, uh, because Blue Sky is that safe space. Blue Sky is that safe haven for lefties. But the truth is, they want to be involved in the conversation. They are so addicted to X that they're never going to leave it. So what they do is they go on X, they make a post, they get backlash, they delete it, and they go run to Blue Sky and talk in their echo chamber to feel better. But that's basically what it is at the end of the day. Uh, while he deleted the post to X, he did not delete one on Blue Sky. Oh, literally, I just said Blue Sky. Look, I literally just, <laughs> I just said that. That's incredible. He did not delete one on blue sky expressing the same sentiment he wrote i'm so proud of mass effect and so endlessly tired of effing man babies who try and tank our bgg rating because we took 10 seconds to add pronouns to the squad mates he also shared the review breakdown revealing the game had only 10 one-star reviews compared to 14 10 star reviews that's not bad that's not terrible that's pretty even that's about a 50 50 split i feel like that's fair right that's fairly fair at that at that point. And look, you have plenty of reviews that are in the right spots, right? You have all these reviews that are in the middle ground. And I'm sure these people are telling you what they feel about the game, whether it's slightly positive or slightly negative. So again, you're complaining about the 10 negative star reviews, but you're not complaining about the 14 10 out of 10s, right? Your board game is perfect. 10 out of 10. Yeah, you don't complain about those. In a subsequent post, he revealed that following his comments, attacking gamers and making people aware of the game, the one star reviews had increased from 10 to 52. Oh, the Streisand effect. Oh, never mind. I take that back. <laughs> I take that back. The Streisand effect. Damn, this is what you get for letting your guard down for one second and speaking in anger. F me. I'm just tired. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit rough. That's a bit rough. But hey, you did get what you wanted. Okay, you did get people to review bomb you positively as well, right? Your numbers were at 14 before, and now they jumped up uh, to 30. So unfortunately for you, though, the modern audience is not as much as the actual audience for your games, uh, which unfortunately leads to a lot more one-star reviews. But that's okay. I still think you have a fairly decent, you know, metric of score here you know and i think people are going to realize that uh this is still something to potentially check out as long as you stop attacking people over it uh however like lang's post to x these one star reviews have since been deleted from board game geek grum supports their abandoning accounts that vote one oh okay so you're compromised then so you're compromised that's good so board game geek is compromised and they're deciding they're arbiters of who actually is leaving a review and who's not right they they're they're the ones who say what review is real and what's not okay i got it they're banning accounts that vote one star first your review is removed and if you attempt to repost it, your account is locked. He continued, I'm getting multiple reports that people leaving one-star reviews on the Mass Effect Priority Hagalaz board game are getting deleted on Board Game Geek's website. The designer called for people to brigade good reviews to offset the one-star reviews left by man babies. They were upset pronouns were added to iconic Mass Effect characters like the Aura being marked as they then. Well, see, that's the thing, right? So if you don't like review bombing, then why are the review bomb 10 out of 10s allowed to stay, but the 1 out of 10s are not allowed to stay? It is a very broken system. It is clearly meant to be in the favor of the person who has the right ideology that's what it's about so you cannot sit there and not pretend like to be a hypocrite if you want the 10 out of 10 reviews but then you say you don't want the one out of 10 reviews this shit happens we we you you put out a product out there and people are going to talk about the product in whatever way they want to regardless of how you feel so far, the 10 out of 10 grading is allowed to stand, but the one-star reviews are getting yeeted. Comparison shows that the number of one-star reviews fell from 10 to 8, but it claimed many more were deleted before the time of yesterday's screen capture. You can see the list of it in the screenshot below. Yeah, so that's that's compromise, right? I feel like that the, the website, Board Game Geek, should absolutely be held accountable. They are trying to fake the reviews for a particular game. This is pretty obvious, and it's pretty apparent for everyone to see. I think it's insane. I think it's really crazy, to be honest with you, that websites are willing to do this and basically showcase to everyone that they're ideologically driven and that they're willing to lie about the reviews in order to get their way for whoever's trying to post on their website it's crazy stuff man so this is a wild story and again it's unfortunate because as a mass effect fan i feel like i would be very interested in a mass effect board game that sounds pretty awesome but if you're going to do the whole pronouns as titles things yeah i pretty much know where your ideology stands and i really don't need to get involved that much and that's okay maybe it's not meant for me hopefully the people that it is meant for purchase your uh, board game because if video games are any indication that usually doesn't happen so so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.